in the Lord. Behind me is a beautiful tree. You know, that tree was planted and it began to put down roots. And I'm asking you today about your root system and about are you growing in the nurture and admonition of the Lord? You know, it says in Psalms 1, one of my favorite Psalms, it says that you shall be like a tree planted by the streams of water, which yields its fruit in its season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does prospers. You know, that's what the Lord wants for us. He wants us to be prosperous. He wants us to be successful in this life, in this life. And I'm asking you to consider with me today a tree. You know, there's a beautiful tree behind me. And like I said, it, it has been growing for years. And many times it takes time to put down roots into the Word of God and to begin to pour on the water of the Word and to let it be fertilized by the Holy Spirit before growth starts to occur. First, the root system is is accomplished and then you start seeing the growth on the outside you know many of you may be um, just you've just come into the kingdom of God you've just come in uh, to the Lord and it's going to take some some time for for the Lord to mature uh, to mature you to make you a tree of righteousness uh, in his kingdom Hallelujah. You know, in the book of Revelation, it talks about the, the trees that line uh, the river, the Holy Ghost River that flows. And that's what we need to, to think about as we're, as we're considering being a tree of the Lord, that the Holy Spirit is important in our lives. And I want to encourage you today, get more of the Holy Ghost. You know, say, Holy Spirit, I want all of you. I, I did that one day. I said, Holy Spirit, I want all of you. I want everything that you've got. Show me all the truth uh, in this word right here. And he began to do that. You know, he came in and he began to reveal the word to me. Well, what does that do? That helps your root system begin to grow and mature. And then on the outside, you begin to produce fruit. You know, in Psalms 1 it says, which yields its fruit in its season. You know, there are times when we're, when we're growing and, and we're studying and we're uh, being watered by the Lord. And then all of a sudden that fruit of love comes forth. And that fruit of peace and joy and gentleness comes forth. That fruit of faith comes forth. And so what he wants us to do, we're ordained. It says in John chapter 15... We are ordained to bring forth much fruit. So as you consider being a tree today, I want you also to consider bringing forth the fruit of the Spirit. You know, it's so important that we begin to love on one another. I believe what the world needs most is love, love, love. God's love. It's powerful. It will never fail. If you've got a family member that needs Jesus today, begin to love on that that person begin to show the love of God to them and it will never fail his love never ceases to produce kingdom results hallelujah you know I want to be a tree of righteousness in God's kingdom and I know that you want to be as well so as we pray together today I want you to say to the Lord whatever it is I need to be a tree of righteousness in your in your kingdom, whatever it takes to produce that fruit uh, of of righteousness, bring it on. Let me have it. Hallelujah! I'm going to pray for you today. I'm going to pray for that fruit to be produced in your life. The Lord, I just pray right now for those that are viewing this video that they will begin to produce the fruit of righteousness in their life that they will become successful in everything they put their hand to, Lord. I just thank you for healing and bringing prosperity to them. In Jesus' name. There's a person right now, you're being healed 
in your lungs and your bronchial tubes. Uh, God is, is healing whatever needs to take place in those lungs for you to breathe better, uh, for you to be able to lay down at night and breathe. Uh, God is doing that right now in the name of Jesus. God is healing kidneys right now. I see a right kidney being uh, restored and to totally renewed uh, in the name of Jesus. You know, I see eyes being opened and healed right now in Jesus' name. I, I see uh, feet, uh, especially flat feet, that God is putting um, a, a cushion there and, and a curvature to your foot so that no longer is it flat, but it's what it needs to be uh, to be comfortable for you to walk. God is so good. God is so good. Be a tree of righteousness uh, this day. Thank you for viewing.